Hey guys! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since my last video. This was supposed to be my fourth video, but the editing process of the third video was seriously pissing me off. So I decided to do this one instead. Yes, it's another shoppy haul because 2020 was a wild year and I needed something to pacify my cabin fever issues. Okay, maybe cabin fever is a bit of a stretch, but yeah, whatever. You get it. So before I get started, Quick disclaimer, this video isn't in any way to brag. This is more on me reviewing and or recommending these products. So if we have similar aesthetic tastes, then you've come to the right person. So now, on with the video. First up are these Doc Martens 8053 leather platform casual shoes. It actually says 1467 on Shopee, but I searched the Doc Martens website and there's no 1467 versions only 1461 and 8053. The 1467 versions actually have lesser eyelets, so the 8053s are actually the closest ones to these shoes. Technically, these are dupes, but a very high quality type, and also they're a bit heavy like the OGs. I've always wanted to own a pair of dress shoes that actually fit my type of aesthetic. That's why I love the style of Doc Martens because of its diversity in a casual or formal setting. There's no shame in buying or thrifting dupes as long as it's in good condition and you're comfortable in them, okay? This was a total steal because I got these for only 1,600 pesos which is way more than 50% off the actual OG version. I definitely recommend these shoes if you are also into that chunky, funky shoe vibe. To be honest, I never thought I'd be into these type of shoes because these are very reminiscent of my high school shoes and it is a very known fact that I'm not very fond of my high school year so this was a definite choice but I've got to say that these are the Mary Janes I'm into okay it really gives off that cute yet sophisticated vibe and not gonna lie I do want to be cute sometimes sometimes quality wise they're okay as long as you store them properly these might last about three years the price is also reasonable i'm not usually a total fan of white shoes because the maintenance is a bit of a hassle to me but these boots were an exemption i was so into the style of the boots that i just had to have them in white the only problem i had with these is the size Mary, I'm a size 9, and these are definitely not a size 9 regardless what the description says. I forgot that it's best to always size up whenever buying clothes shoes, especially the ones that are above your ankles. Thank god I finally sold these and decided to size up to a size 10. If you've seen my first Shopee haul video, the very first video I've ever uploaded, then these might look familiar to you. These are another Doc Martens dupes. This one is very affordable compared to the OGs and surprisingly comfortable, especially if you have huge ass feet like me. I've always wanted to own a pair of chunky trainers as much as I wanted the Nike Air Force One Shadows and the Skechers Delight, so I totally live for these multicolored trainers. I initially had low expectations for these because I felt like it was too good to be true given how low the price was, but when I got it, I was surprised. I guess the overall style is a knockoff of the Balenciaga chunky sneakers that's basically on every aesthetic hose Pinterest board. These were so comfortable and I know the colors are a choice, but it fits the aesthetic vibe that I'm into. I definitely have a love and hate relationship with this one. I was kind of disappointed at first because I forgot to size up so these were really snug on my feet. I might actually sell these or just buy the OGs, I don't know. But in all honesty, these are actually not a bad alternative for the Nike Air Force ones, but I would have wanted it more if these were the shadow versions. I'm just way more into the platform type of footwear, I guess. 
I'll probably have a pair of Converse in every era of my life. These are a definite staple footwear for just about anyone for any occasion. I genuinely thought these were OGs at first, but if you really look at it, there's an obvious difference at the front. I guess these are factory defect dupes because I saw other reviews from Shopee and majority had like the exact replica of the actual Converse Star Hike, but... I'm still in love with these. I've been looking for these ever since I saw Dara wearing this. And these weren't available yet at Zalora or any retail stores here. I kind of want to buy the OGs, but that's just me being nitpicky about the front part. I also want to buy these in every color because these are like the best aesthetic converse since their platform chucks. Okay, these are actually not from Shopee. I bought these from Shein. Yes, I actually googled how to pronounce that properly. These are also my very first purchase from Shein. And I kid you not, it won't be the last time I'll be shopping fashion-related stuff from there. These chunky platforms are the embodiment of my aesthetic. I can't stress how much I love these. The only downside is that these aren't as comfortable as I thought it would be. But are these worth the price? Definitely. Out of all the shoes here, these are the most expensive ones. Well, actually, the most expensive pair of shoes I've ever bought with my own money. I know some of you are like, why did you buy these? Or that doesn't seem to belong to your sort of aesthetic. Well, my dear viewers, I needed a new pair of workout shoes. That's actually half true. The number one reason why this brand and style is because of Haikyuu. Yes. Haikyuu has taken over my life especially Sakuatsu. And as much as I would love to discuss my lengthy PSA about how Haikyuu is life, I'll save that for another video. In relevance to shoes, I wanted the exact pair of volleyball shoes they were using. I originally wanted Hinata Shoyo's signature volleyball shoes, but I couldn't find one in my size. So I opted for these, which was actually a great decision because the colors of these represent the key colors of Karasuno's jersey. I actually love how comfortable these are and I can confidently say that this was worth the price. Okay, that's supposed to be the end of my new Shopee shoe haul, but of course, knowing me, I did end up buying a few additional shoes after filming this. I mean, this was supposed to be uploaded on the first half of 2021. Anyway, I'm saving those for the next upcoming videos. So on this part of the video, it's actually all of my current shoes, minus the ones on my shoe haul. I've had most of these for quite a few years now, and yeah, on with the video. Naturally, high cut Chuck Taylors are on top of my list. I mean, I've been wearing these type of footwear since elementary, so it's a definite staple footwear for me in like any generation. I guess red may seem like a choice type of color, but it's actually one of my go-to footwear. This one. I guess it's the overall style that the Chuck Taylors give off, uh, the vibe. Honestly, it's quite comfortable. I obviously have a running theme with my choice of footwear. Majority are close type, high cuts, chunky, platforms, or all of the above. These are another example of classic Quinn basics. I mean, I do prefer high cuts, but this one is actually quite comfortable. Ugh, these were an absolute steal. I can't stress enough how much I love this store. I mean, Bershka in general. The style and vibe fits my type of aesthetics, but not gonna lie. Bershka is quite expensive. Sometimes reasonable, mostly, eh. You get the gist. But back to shoes, these were love at first sight. I mean, do I even need to justify? Look at it, it's... Ah, oh, I so love this. These are one of my favorite and rare good shoe finds at our local thrift store. I mean, it's been so long. These are really comfortable and stylish. Like, you know, majority of my choices. All according to me though. <laughs> Now these are the absolute definition of staple footwear. Like, again, I mean Doc Martens in general. These are not a bit expensive. They are expensive and for a good reason. I actually got this as a gift from my aunt way back when I was in college. Come to think of it, I remembered this asshole who made fun of me because I looked like McDonald's because of the shoes. Well, he actually thought he was funny. He was kind of a dick, so yeah, whatever. <laughs> Regardless, I love these boots, but I don't wear them as often as I want to because of the weather. It makes my legs stuffy. Alimot bitaw. 
These are another pair of Doc Martens boots I got from my aunt. I wore the heck out of these last 2019. I was living and working away from home that time, so my choices were limited. But these were the perfect choice. It does look a bit worn out because I did wear this every day, like literally walking to and from the construction site slash office and then back to the staff house. But either way, it's quite sturdy. I still have it until now. These were actually the first legit Doc Martens boots I ever owned. I thrifted these with my mom and back then there was a period when DMs were overly hyped. I forgot why but if I'm being perfectly honest, these aren't as comfortable as my other DMs because of the size. It doesn't have much allowance for my weirdly shaped feet but you know, it's DM so I still have these. <laughs> I haven't actually worn these casually, only during special occasions. Out of all my boots, these feel really light on my feet, but the downside is that it's not meant to be worn for the whole day. I guess it does have something to do with my weirdly shaped feet. Here's another classic go-to footwear. Every time I'm in a hurry and can't decide what elaborate shoe to complete my outfit, I slap these on. These low cuts are actually more comfortable on me than the Converse ones. I actually have two variations of these skate high platforms. Both were thrifted at different stores but were coincidentally the same size. Also, quite a steal. I know it doesn't look like it now because I definitely wore the hell out of these, but yeah, they're super comfortable and such a classic. I mean, duh, old school. I forgot to add both of these on the list. The first pair is also another thrifted Vans platform sneakers. I totally love the Cosmic Galaxy pattern on these. So cute. The other one's actually bought brand new. I got this at a cheaper price from my friend's workmate. I really can't get enough of black sneakers. How can I not love these? This pair was actually a literal lifesaver. Long story short, I got involved in a motorcycle accident and thanks to these, my feet had no scratches or fractured bones. I don't know why some people say these are ugly. I actually find the disruptors aesthetically pleasing. I guess it's just me or whatever. Gosh, I was so obsessed with these. Super comfortable and matches with anything. Just by looking at it, anyone can tell just how much I used to wear this a lot. These might seem like an aesthetic pair of running shoes, but it's actually just aesthetic. It's also not that comfortable, regardless of the brand. Why do I still have these? Well, it's a gift from my aunt, and it's actually really pretty. I'm surprised these are still alive. I got these from a thrift store at Manila way back 2015. If you know me well, you know these are definitely up my alley. But are these comfortable? Hell no. Why did I buy these? Hello? How could I not? Seriously. Listen, I would never have bought these if it weren't for the inevitable formal events I get invited to. I've currently worn these to three separate wedding ceremonies and thank god the motives were all similar. These are way beyond my comfort zone. Like literally, these are uncomfortable as hell. But I guess sort of useful, you know? Okay, I never thought I'd actually get these slip-ons. I mean, I just dislike any type of shoe that exposes any part of my bare feet. Truth be told, I only wear these indoors, sitting down most of the time, and in an air-conditioned environment. Both are aesthetically pleasing, but definitely not my comfort footwear. So that's it for my shoe haul and collection. Congrats if you made it this far to the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!